We now present the consummate model, where agents represent consumers and make decisions using one of the four heuristics. Which heuristic to use depends on whether the agent is satisfied or not, and whether the agent is uncertain or not. When the agent is satisfied and not uncertain, the agent will repeat its decision from the previous time. There is no need to use more cognitive energy. When an agent is not satisfied, but also not uncertain, the agent will deliberate and compare all possible options and choose the option that leads to the highest level of satisfaction. When an agent is uncertain, it does not know whether to it made the right decision and will look what others do. An uncertain agent that is satisfied will imitate the decisions of the majority of others. By conforming to the decisions of others, the agent will reduce its uncertainty. An uncertain agent that is not satisfied will look at the decisions made by agents similar to her and see which choice will work out best for her. This is social comparison. During the simulation, an agent can use different heuristics depending on the satisfaction and uncertainty about the current situation. We will now describe a model which is an illustration of the consummate approach. There are a number of products available for the agent and the agents are connected in a social network as illustrated on the figure. Agents will have individual preferences and are sensitive to social influence. We will explore the consequences of different assumptions of social influence, aspiration and uncertainty tolerance on the dynamics of the model. We have two thresholds affecting when an agent is satisfied and uncertain. If an agent is unsatisfied but certain, it will deliberate and will evaluate all the options available. It will calculate what is the expected utility and based on the expectation, C will choose the product with the highest expected utility. If an agent is satisfied and certain, it will repeat her choice from the previous time step. If an agent is satisfied but uncertain, it will copy the most popular product in the neighborhood. If an agent is unsatisfied and uncertain, it will evaluate the most popular product in a neighborhood and will choose this option if it increases her expected utility compared to sticking with the current choice. So what makes an agent satisfied and uncertain? Satisfaction relates to the level of utility. Utility depends on two components, individual preferences and social influence. The closer the characteristics of the product delta and the preference of the agent P, the higher the utility for the individual component. But the agent also gets utility by consuming similar products as their neighbors. Not all agents will have the same weights between individual and social components. Some agents focus on their own preferences and those agents have a high beta value. Other agents focus on decisions of others and have a low beta value. Does the beta value affect how decisions affect the utility? Uncertainty relates to the degree in which agents look at decisions made by others and a fraction of neighbors who consume different products than the agent herself. If an agent weights the decisions of others, a lot of neighboring agents consume different products. The agent will be uncertain and start imitating or socially comparing. If an agent do not take into account decisions made by others, it is less likely to start imitating and socially comparing. We will now start exploring the NetLogo model. We will assume agents know all the characteristics of the 10 products. We will have 10 products in the model. All agents have the same value of beta. And let's assume that beta will be zero at the start. We will know, have no hemophily. All the agents have the same beta value. And the thresholds for satisfaction and uncertainty are 0.4. We 
we click on setup and then we click on go so now we see here which choices which heuristics are used by the agents we see that some of the agents use social comparison others use imitation and uh, uh, some use repetition there are no agents using deliberation the reason for this is that the agents are uh, all taking into account all uh, what is the sh the choice made by other agents the beta is zero and so they are never fully satisfied because agents are very easily uh, uncertain because beta is zero for all the agents we get that the they are social comparing and um, imitating uh, relatively a lot and we see that that leads that some products get a high share and some products will go out of the market so this is an example where there is a lot of social influence let's now put bad to one this means that all the agents will only focus on their own individual preferences what we see now is that the agents use repetition and deliberation they don't use imitation and social comparison we see that the, sh the shares of the products remain um, very much similar to each other so there is not a dominant uh, product that's because they are following their individual preferences and so the previous we had a lot of agents having similar products as the neighbors here we see that they all have their own uh, make their own individual choice so now let's go somewhere in the middle where we have beta equal to 0.5 now we will see that we have all four different heuristics are used we see that some agents are uh, imitating some are repeating some are socially comparing and some are deliberating because there is a lot of social uh, influence we get that some of the product starts to uh, dominate so we get high shares for some of the the products and we see that also in the network where well, we have a dominance a lot of agents make similar decisions as their neighbors so we had the choice was that the beta was the same for all the agents let's now assume that there is heterogeneity that means that on average the beta value will be uh, equal to 0.5 but there is variation so some agents are a little bit uh, more focused on uh, uh, social comparison than others so we will see that uh, this has some effect on the uh, on the results because there will be less large blobs of the same product in a neighborhood so because some agents are more focused on the individual preferences So in the model which we have used so far, there was no homophily. Uh, homophily uh, refers to that the uh, agents and the neighbors have similar preferences. We now had that all the agents have randomly drawn some preferences. So let's now assume that there is some homophily. Will that have an effect? So what we would expect that is th that there will be more um, uh, blobs of of. Um, agents having the same uh, uh, product because they have more similar preferences so uh, we will, let's see whether that will happen it's difficult to compare just with one one uh, simulation we, we may have to do more simulations to really evaluate this But with the model, we can uh, compare the uh, effect of these, if these different assumptions. And the reason that we get now a dominance of one of these 
um, products is that there are now also a lot of agents who have a very low beta and so they are really copying these strategies, the, the, the choices of other agents.